Okay, let's look at the question where we look at uh, drawing a graph on supply and demand, seeing a shift in one of those graphs and trying to explain what is happening. So let's say we simply have a question. We give you a question and we say it is the market for shoes. In the market for shoes, we are told there is an increase in the wage rate. Increase in wage for shoemakers. Right, so if you sell shoes, you have to hire a shoemaker. Okay. Explain or uh, draw a diagram, draw a figure, diagram, whatever, draw a figure and explain your figure. Okay. It's a bit hard to write with this uh, stylus. So that's your question. Okay, so we can start by drawing a uh, equilibrium graph, as I always do in the lecture. Okay, uh, here you have to assume the marker doesn't know anything. Okay, so instead of writing Q, you should write quantity. Instead of writing P, you should write price. Okay, you can write demand rather than D, just to be sure. If you put D and Q and P and S for supply, then you have to explain it when you're writing your explanation. Okay, so supply, in this case I'm just going to call it supply 1 and demand 1 because later on there's going to be a shift. Then I just add equilibrium point, I'll call that P1, and I'll call that Q1, okay. So we have our equilibrium. Now what we want to do is we just want to simply explain this in the, in the meantime. Right? So we're simply going to explain this, we say in initial equilibrium okay again excuse the writing still trying to get used to this stylus in initial equilibrium uh, quantity demanded equals quantity supplied equals quantity supplied And equilibrium is reached at quantity Q1 and price P1. Okay. Simple, basic explanation. Okay. And if you didn't write supply and demand and quantity and price in, in full, then really in that explanation I just wrote just now over here, you, you need to add uh, just a brief explanation. Right? Again, assume we don't know anything. Where P is price, eh, believe me, we don't know anything. Q is quantity, S is supply, and D is demand. Okay? But in my explanation in, of the graph, I wrote it in full, so I don't have to do that. But if you write, then you should do that. Okay. Uh, let me just... Oh, can't get rid of that. Okay. Okay, anyway. There we are. Oops. I have no idea what I've done. But, uh, yeah, wait. Okay. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to explain... Again, I don't know what I've done there. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Let me move that again. So, okay, okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to explain the increase in wage for shoemaker. The increase in the wage for the shoemaker. Okay, so what do we know about the increase in the wage for the shoemaker? An increase in wage right, is an increase. Oops. Uh, oh boy. Uh, la, la, la. Okay, let, let me delete that.
I can't delete that. Okay. All right. We'll ignore that. We'll move that away. <laughs> we'll start again. What do we know? An increase in wage is an increase in the cost of production. Okay. More expensive to produce the good. This will see a fall in supply. Okay, so this is what we want to illustrate to you. Okay, so hopefully no more dramas in my drawing. Right, or you can simply show us the new supply curve. Don't forget to label it supply 2 and you can draw the arrow. Okay, supply 2. And what we want to do is we want to explain this arrow. Okay. So again, we, we just simply apply. We, we've already told you what happens in initial equilibrium. Okay. Now we can simply explain the increase in wage. Is an increase in the cost of production. Okay. Now explain that in terms of supply and demand. Right, so you will say the supply curve shifts inwards. You could use the word leftwards. You could use the word upwards, whatever. Okay. We have our new supply curve. Supply two. Okay, so at this stage now you have explained your graph, but you haven't explained your final outcome. What is our final outcome? Our new equilibrium. Up, price goes up, quantity goes down. So now you will simply explain our new equilibrium is price P2 and quantity Q2. The rise in the cost of production or wage has led to a rise in equilibrium price because Q2 is higher than Q1 and a fall in equilibrium quantity because Q2 is less than Q1 and you have answered the question.